Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate digital downloads into your uh, multi-vendor service marketplace. So this would be appropriate for those of you who want to either uh, substitute or replace your services-based marketplace with a digital download or eBooks or products uh, that your public audience can download from your professional members. This is something that uh, I'm certainly very interested in for our own community, or alternatively for those of you uh, probably in a more common scenario who want to do both, offering both uh, digital downloads and services side by side uh, within the framework of your uh, marketplace or directory community. So again, this is all predicated on using the brand new uh, Task Hive theme and or I might add the free Hive Press directory theme, which I also did a video on uh, recently, you can see. You can do the same thing with that directory framework, which is free. Um, but you do need to buy a $29 extension, premium extension, that comes with TaskHive to facilitate what I'm about to show you. All right, so this is the dummy data installed. I haven't really done anything to this theme other than uh, make a slight modification, which I'm going to show you right here. And again, these are all the products that come with the demo installation. This one here is the one that I changed. All right, so let's look at that. And I changed it by dint of creating a free product that, which you can see here, it's priced at zero, which people can download from my profile. Here's my demo profile that I created. Uh, this is when I was much better looking. My father, uh, thankfully for him, has gotten much better looking over the years. I, unfortunately, have gone in the other direction. But that's neither here nor there. And most of you don't care about that. All right. So... Here is a the dummy data. This is the uh, demo content that came with the theme, engaging and share worthy Facebook posts and articles. This is just a service that you know theoretically you would be offering on your marketplace. Again, this is the the dummy data, but I made one small change, which is I made it a zero product that can be bought now. And, you know, this image is really not a good reflection of what it should be, but this is actually a, um, a product that someone can buy, right, using the WooCommerce checkout. All right, so we're going to show you exactly how to emulate that, and I'm going to show you on the back end of this what that looks like. All right, so, and, and there's only one toggle that needs to be switched on to facilitate this. And again, this is really important for those of you who are building more conventional directories using something like HivePress, right, which is free. You can do this exact same thing uh, just by buying the $29 marketplace extension. So here you can see the settings for the vendor. Um, you know, all this is really housed in this sidebar here, but in this case, the vendor is me. The, verif the listing is verified. The listing is also featured. These are all things you can experiment with, toggling on and off. They style the vendors differently with, you know, a verified badge and stuff like that. You can create dates and expirations to feature. All of these are just ways of monetizing or incentivizing people to upgrade to a paid. Uh, listing or a premium listing, but here is the salient piece right here under attributes. I you can, you know, this could be ten dollars if I or one hundred ninety dollars. It matters not nineteen dollars, and uh, you know the product would be sold in that case for nineteen dollars, but or ten dollars or three hundred. It doesn't matter. Price is obviously irrelevant. But in this case, I just want to give away a free uh, product that would sell other services that I offer, let's say an explanatory PDF or an ebook or something like that. And the salient piece of this uh, uh, toggle is just selecting the file, which is delivered post-purchase, both by virtue of an email and on the user's download page, which they get immediately following the transaction. In this case, the file I selected was just this um, you know, kind of dummy image or stock image 
that I just uploaded for the buyer to get access to, you know, rather than putting a full PDF uh, up there. All right. So I'm just going to update that. Not that I made any changes, but just so that's not lost. And now let's add a new listing. All right. So now you'll see the actual process that I would undertake to, or that you could undertake to do all of this for yourself. So let's say this is a Right, a $19 ebook on how to do X without doing Y and certainly never doing Z. Right, we're going to add some description. All right, this is a description of the ebook. You'd want to fill this out much better than I am doing here. Here are the vendor settings. Now you are signing this. Now again, remember that your members can do this from the front end, but I'm operating from the back end of the uh, WordPress dashboard, the administration area. So in this case, Get Mindful is just the name of the site. So this is the default vendor or administrator, uh, which is another one of my usernames for the site, obviously. But I could change this to Ian Hollander. So I'm searching for the vendor and it finds me. And we're going to, again, mark this as verified, mark this as featured. We're not going to do anything else with regard to featuring or expiration dates. We're going to select an image. All right, let's just take this one here for the image for the, the product. Actually, I'm sorry. That's actually, let's, actually, you know, we'll set this one here. Okay, so that's the feature listing for the, for the actual uh, ebook. And again, you'd make this a real ebook cover, obviously, when you're doing this the right way. I'm just trying to show you in an ad hoc way how all this works. Here is where you are going to set the price. We're going to set this at, let's say, $9. This is the... Uh, just one of the images in the slider. I'm sorry, this is not the uh, featured image, obviously. Let's add another picture here. So now you'll have some various images that your users can see about the ebook. Maybe you would include a, um, you know, a cover uh, or some inner pages of the book. And now we're going to select the ebook cover here. So this, or I'm sorry, we're going to select the actual file that's going to be delivered to your user. So here I just have a whole assortment of uh, pictures that I use for demo stuff. And is that uploading? It feels really slow. I'm not sure why. I think it's probably my internet connection. Here you set the categories. Here I would just set this as an ebook. PDF, etc. So when people are searching for ebooks, PDFs in the marketplace, this would show up in the search results. Again, you know, featured, etc. It would get priority of place. Here's the downloadable file that I just uploaded. Here are the two slider pictures. And again, you have a nine dollar ebook. This is not a service. Understanding this is actually a picture they're going to be getting, but in the real world, you would upload your PDF or ebook there. I'm going to publish this. It wants me to fill out the max revisions. I don't know. I don't want any max revisions, but that is toggled on. Let's publish this. Let's look at it. And here you have it, a $19 ebook on how to do X without doing Y. Here's the cover. Here are the pictures. The only thing I'm not sure why I did this wrong, you can send a message. There's no buy now button, so let's go and see what I did wrong, because clearly I did something wrong. 
Maybe that didn't save. That looks to be the case. There may actually be one other field that I missed. Let's look for that. Just to make sure. Oh, come on. Stop doing it, you dum dums. All right, we're going to go back and set this. Max revisions, one. It's really not the appropriate attribute, but I can change those from the back end. I mean, obviously, selling an ebook, you're not giving people any revisions. All right, and there you go. Now the buy now button is there. The mistake that I made in the prior, um, you know, walkthrough was when I updated that one field, I must have zeroed out the, um, you know, the price field. So now that's been fixed, you can see you can now buy this product. Right, as we discussed here, are the, the images that would tell your audience about the ebook in this case they're just pictures that don't really fit the ebook right that's the featured image and if we go here you'll see now this dummy vendor has a a 19 dollars ebook that we just did right in a conjunction with all of the paid services which this dummy vendor, again, this is all demo data stuff, uh, other than what I just created, has attached to his or her profile. So three or four services, three services in this case, and one ebook. Now, if I wanted, which is what we just created. Now, if I wanted, and in this case, it's a free ebook. If I wanted to offer, have this user, let's say in my marketplace, just offer a shitload of free ebooks or PDFs or create a book style store, all of this could be done on your marketplace, or in this case, my marketplace, using nothing more than the task hive theme and extensions and framework, or the ha the hive press free directory theme and the $29 uh, marketplace extension, which really makes this whole, you know, kind of process and path and platform a true you know i would say uh what's the right word um i don't i don't, I don't want to say a revolutionary uh uh, uh product because i don't want to go that far but it really is super cool super easy and democratizes the process of creating one of these sorts of sites in you know in an hour i mean literally i could build this whole thing in an hour uh and it could be quite good i mean i have enough content ebooks pdfs Etc. That I could, at least on my own profile, really have a um, you know a demo site and get a couple of my professional partners and peers to add their stuff, and we could at a minimum have a marketplace of our own team stuff set up that was all downloadable, all you know service related uh, offers as well, done in about you know ninety minutes. I don't know. Um, so I think it's pretty cool, and I think it's pretty awesome. And I think for those of you who have struggled with complicated tools and tech or other plugins and, and theme forest themes and have just found yourselves, uh, you know, at wit's end, I really do believe this is a great alternative uh, that you ought to explore. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more content on how to monetize one of these communities in our private community. So if you want to join us, there's a link below uh, and I encourage you to do so. Okie doke. Thank you so much and have a great day.